time to shout out super duper loud. <gasps> hey, friends, because you're my friend and I hope I'm your friend too. So on the count of three, I want to hear ya. Oh boy, I can't wait. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, friends. Whoa, that was amazing. Oh, you know, I just love being here with you all. Yeah, when we're together, we get to listen to an amazing Bible story and we get to dance to some rockin' music. <laughs> but before we do any of that, we have fun together. And today, I have something super special planned. You know, today we are going to be playing a game using one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. <gasps> Well, let me show you all the donuts I have. <gasps> look how delicious they look. Okay, you see, we've got a white sprinkle and a pink sprinkle. Oh, and my personal favorite, a chocolate donut. They look so delicious. My tummy is starting to grumble, but we're not be eating these donuts just yet. But we are going to do something super duper fun with them. We're gonna be playing a matching game. So there are two of each donut and we have to flip all these donuts over and then try and find their match. It's gonna be so great. Do you think you can help me? You do? Oh, great. All right, let's get started. So which one do you think we should pick first? One, two, three, four, five, or six? Let's see. How about number five? Should we pick number five? Okay, let's take a look. It's a chocolate. Oh, it looks so yummy. Okay, so now we have to find the chocolate donut that's somewhere else up here. Let's see. How about number two? Should we do number two? Let's, let's take a look. Oh, that is not a chocolate donut. No, that's a pink sprinkle donut, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's flip the pink sprinkle back over and we're still looking for the chocolate. Let's see. How about number four? Let's flip over number four. You did such a great job. This is so fun. Let's keep going. Okay, which one should we flip over next? How about number three? Yeah, should we take a look and see what donut is behind number three? Oh, well, this is a pink sprinkled. Now, I feel like we've seen the pink sprinkled before. Oh, uh, which number was the pink sprinkled behind? I can't remember. Do you have any guesses? Hmm, what about number one? Should we flip over number one and let's see? Oh, no, this is the white sprinkled. Okay, we're so close. Let's see, where could it be? Pink sprinkled donut, where are you? Hmm, how about number two? Should we take a look? All right, let's see number two. Wow! We did it! Oh, I wasn't even expecting that! Oh, this is amazing! We found the pink sprinkled match! Okay, I think we have one more donut to find the match for. Let's flip over number six. There it is! There's our white sprinkled donut! But we're looking for one more white sprinkled donut. Where could it be? Did you say number one? You did? Okay, well, I think we should definitely take a look and see if the white sprinkled donut is behind number one. Oh boy, here we go. Yay! You did it, you did it, you did it. You friends are so great at playing this magic game. Oh, I had so much fun with you. But now we've got all these Donuts lying around. Can you pick out one of your favorite donuts? Oh yeah, that one looks really tasty. Now can you pretend to eat it? 
<laughs> oh, that was so delicious. I love donuts. Okay, well, you friends are so awesome. I loved hanging out with you all today. And now it is time for an amazing Bible story just for you. So take a seat and get all comfy. And let me see your hands. And open. Shut them. Open. Shut them. Give a little clap. <laughs> open. Shut them. Open. Shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey, boys and girls. My name is Jeff, and I am so excited to tell you something I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? Yeah, it's the Bible. And the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So there are a lot of people in the whole world, right? And I read in my Bible that God made us. He made every one of us. And he has a plan for every one of us. He made me, and he made you. And he also made your moms and your dads and your sisters and your brothers and all your friends. He made everyone in the whole world, even all the people you've never met. And even though there are so, 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 so many people all over the world, there's not a single person that's just like you. God made us all look different. And he even made us like different things and be able to do different things. The things we're good at, the things we like to do, Everything is a part of his plan. I read in the Bible that God knows the plans he has for you. Yeah, God has a special plan for each and every person every single day. Those plans might be things we learn or things he wants us to do or even kind words he wants us to say to other people. He made us special so that we could do good things. Hey, show me your thumbs up. Okay, great. So you're special and God has a plan for you and he made you to do good things. That's right. Okay, so you can help a friend. That's a good thing. And you can play fun games with your family. That's a good thing. You can, oh, you can help someone smile when they're sad. That's a good thing. You can listen to your mom and dad and teachers. That's a good thing. And sometimes, God's plan is for you to use your mouth to say kind things to other people and to be a good friend. We might be the one who cheers them up or helps them smile when they need it. That's a good thing. Sometimes God's plan is for you to be a good helper and to clean up the toys when the teacher asks you to. You can be a really good helper and that's a good thing. Oh. And sometimes God's plan is for you to learn something new, like how to tie your shoes or how to ride your new scooter. That's a good thing. God has a plan for you and he made you to do good things. We're all special and wonderfully made. And God has a special plan for every single one of us, every single day. So every day you can remember that God has a plan for you. God wants you to do good things, like be kind to your friends, to learn something, or even to do something special for someone else. God made you special, and he has a plan for you. God loves everything about you, and God loves everything about me. So let's pray and thank God for the amazing plans he has for all of us. Give me a big clap. Dear God, Thank you for loving us and for making a special plan for us. We love you, God. Amen. That was amazing. I'm going to remember all week long that God loves everything about me. I'll see you guys later. Bye, friends. Oh, wow. That was an amazing Bible story. I loved listening to it with you. And now... It is time for the moment we've all been waiting for. We get to sing and dance to a super duper fun song, and I can't wait. So get up on your feet and put your dancing shoes on, and it's time to dance. <laughs> Bye, friends. The most, the greatest, the absolute best. The most, the greatest, the absolute best. The most, the greatest, the absolute best. Song to the elephant stomp 
Yes. <laughs>